So for my videos for Hike Your Smile, I'm going to do them as a little video blog each day. To give you an insight into the work that I do uh, for my clients with our online marketing and as a coach. So I work um, helping practices find new patients online, social media, email, and on their websites. And I've also got a real keen interest in neuro-linguistic programming. And for me, the two join together. So the online marketing makes the phone go makes the emails go and the neuro linguistic programming which is to do with communication is that elegant the way that you can communicate with that patient on the end of the phone with email and to communicate with the patient to ensure that they follow instructions perhaps after implant surgery or with their oral health so i think it's an absolute key part to effective marketing within a dental practice so what have I been doing today? Well, what I've been doing today is I've been working on a client's website to put in some calls to action. And it's one area that dental practices often miss out. They have a fantastic website. It looks really good. It might have some nice video on it, have some good engagement on it. But they miss out the simple things like a call to action. So a call to action is getting your website with, um, if you want someone to email you, by putting a large sign on the site that says, email me now, email us today. If you want people to phone you, uh, have your phone number big and say, call us now with your phone number. If you want them to request an appointment online, have a little clickable button that says request an appointment now and have it a link through to your request an appointment page. And that's what I've been doing today. I've been putting a request an appointment button onto a client's website um, because it's been managed by somebody else before and it's missing. So just have a look at your website and have a look to see have you got very clear call to action on each of the pages? And is it absolutely obvious what you want a patient to do or a visitor to do when they're on the site? So from an NLP point of view, I've also been asked to give some NLP um, advice on these videos. And really there are uh, habits that have been decided by Heart Your Smile that are a really good idea to adopt. And the first habit is to be confident. So I just want to give you a little bit of advice about being confident. And confidence, you know, is a decision. So you, if you don't feel confident, that was a limiting decision that you've had some time in your life. You have made the choice, you have made a decision to not feel confident. So where were you when you made that decision? And just before that, where were you? And if you think now about the options that are available to you. How many more options would be available to you if you went back to that decision, knowing what you know now? And if you think about a time in the future when you wouldn't have had that confidence, knowing what you know now, how much better and more confident do you feel with all the options that you've got available to you? So just be aware that confidence is a decision, that it's an absolute decision to be confident and that you can affect that decision and make a, a change with that decision today. So I look forward to speaking to you again tomorrow. See you then.